Uh, yeah, so that's a lot of desert. <laughs> Retiring from the military is a pain in the dick. <laughs> For lack of better words. If you're getting ready to get out, give yourself a good solid six weeks. God bless, definitely should have wore a hat. Okay, getting people to return voicemails, pretty much impossible. Yeah, we have to stick you right here because the wind won't stop blowing and it's getting kind of annoying. I came out here to shoot a video, so we're gonna shoot a video. I did eventually get everything on my checklist, you know, my out processing checklist signed off. And then I did, uh, what, right around eight weeks of skill bridge and that's where you can do an internship. I was fortunate enough to be able to do an internship at one of the bars out in the valley called Schwabenhof. Got to learn how to sling drinks, pour beers, all that fun stuff. All in all, a great experience, and it got me out of the uniform not much sooner. The next thing was, like, I was trying to get my VA claim. You take all your medical records from your whole career, take it to a VA representative. They go through everything and basically determine what you can claim. Well, I was trying to get that knocked out while I was still in Alaska. Kept getting canceled because of the Rona. People kept getting sick or were exposed to people who got sick and it was rather annoying. While I'm doing all this, the movers came to my house, packed everything up. It was like surreal because I had been, I've been waiting for this for so long. They packed up all my crap and I was living out of a suitcase, literally, <laughs> not literally, actually, I was actually living out of a suitcase, I don't know, three or four weeks. Gave the house, Back to the property manager. Oh, let me back up to where I shipped all my stuff. I had an air tag in one of my backpacks and forgot. I was looking for it one day. Got on my phone and realized that my <laughs> air tag was with all my stuff and you could like I could literally track it moving across the country. That gave me the idea of when I shipped my truck to leave an air tag in my truck. Yeah, if you follow me on Instagram, you got to see Bob's updates of where he was. I have to remember I'm like sitting out in the middle of the desert and there could be like snakes or scorpions out here. Got all my stuff shipped, got my ass out of Alaska, came down here to Las Vegas. I know this looks a lot like Las Vegas, doesn't it? Yeah, I was down here for a couple weeks and my son flew down and showed him around a little bit and then I was, I was getting antsy antsy. Uh, I'll go ahead and say it, it was a mistake to leave when I left. I saw the opportunity for Landon and I to make the drive and not have him fly down again. And it worked out with school and all this other stuff. And so we drove, made the trip to Maine. You're probably wondering why I'm not making this video from Maine. Windy and dusty. There's like a little dust devil thingy, hurricane tornado looking thing. Anyway, drove all the way to Maine just to turn around a week later to hop on a plane and fly back to Las Vegas. Yeah, don't get me wrong, Maine's beautiful, especially in the fall. There's all kinds of positives to being in Maine. I mean, like most of my family lives there. They're all talking about moving away from Maine. It gets cold in Maine too. I think after hanging out here for a few weeks and then going to Maine and it's like 50 degrees cooler, even though there was no snow on the ground, I was just like, Ah, uh, ooh, <laughs> internal struggle. Not to mention they have black flies. I don't know if you know what black flies are, but they're not like house flies. Maybe I'll put a little picture. Black flies bite and I'm like really allergic to them. They had them in Alaska, but they weren't really that bad. But Maine has a lot of them. So I'm kind of back here in Las Vegas trying to figure out what to do. Am I gonna stay here in Las Vegas? Am I gonna go back to Maine? Am I gonna move to Florida? Am I gonna move to like, the South somewhere, or you know, Tennessee, Kentucky, North Carolina, South Carolina area, Northern Georgia. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of benefits, obviously, to staying here in Las Vegas. I mean, my girlfriend lives here, so obviously a huge reason why I'd want to stay here. I mean, there's a lot, a lot of opportunities here too. That's kind of where I'm at. It's kind of funny that I had all my stuff shipped to Maine. If you found my channel because of some of my drum content, you're probably wondering why I haven't been making drum content. My original plan was to make a bunch of content. That way, when there was this like month or two or three month gap, I would upload a video every couple of weeks from stuff I had already filmed. I was uh, playing a couple gigs and my wrist, my left wrist started to hurt 
a lot. So I tried to like switch up my technique to see if I could get the pain go away. I tried using a different snare drum. I went to the doctor, doctor took a look at it, said it was tendonitis. And I took like, what, six weeks off? I didn't play the drums at all. Oh, and the night that I decided that was enough for my wrist was by the end of the night, I had like no power in my left hand. I, I mean, I could drop it on the snare, but when it came to coming around the toms or trying to hit, hit a cymbal, there was like nothing there, no power. Doctor told me I need to take like six to eight weeks, no repetitive motion type thing, and gave me a bunch of Motrin, and the band had a couple fill-in drummers. And then I tried to play a gig, and my plan was that if everything went that fine that night, I would play like the last four or five gigs that I was going to be in Alaska for. Nope. So that's why I haven't been making drum content right now. Just kind of letting my wrist heal. I did finally have another doctor diagnose it with carpal tunnel. Because I'm in this weird transition spot, I can't just like go to my primary care doctor and get referred to get like a cortisone shot or something in my wrist so I can play again. Because that person's in Alaska and my new one, I don't even have my first appointment with them until September. You can probably s expect, I want to do some more moto vlogging. Obviously my motorcycle is in Maine right now. I mean, the plan is to fly back to Maine and get my truck, get my motorcycle, a bunch of my stuff and bring it back here. Is that going to happen next week? Is it going to happen in a month? I don't know yet. <laughs> what did I leave out? If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Nevada's weird, man. I mean, literally 15 minutes that way is Las Vegas and we're out here in the middle of freaking nowhere. When they say Las Vegas was built in the middle of a desert, they were, they're serious. A desert surrounds this place. Like, like you go walking off in one direction and you'll die desert. <laughs> really hoping the wind did not mess up this video. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. <laughs>